Hi everyone! In this video I will be putting all of the Nintendo Switch exclusive games that I have played into a tier list from... What was it? S? From S to D. <laughs> Not S to D. Is anyone else feeling like we are nearing the Switch's end? And I mean, I'm playing a lot of PlayStation these days, but there's one thing that can never be taken away from the Switch, and those are the exclusive games, because they are exclusive. I hope you will be enjoying this video. I am soon gonna have a plushie up advertisement and link down below to pre-order your Isha Gaming plushie. Now, Let's start with Astral Chain. Now, I feel like Astral Chain is one of the best exclusive games on the Switch. I still think that every time I hear someone mention Astral Chain, I'm like, yeah, that was such a game. Review up on my channel. I absolutely adore the game. It is a game that has a lot of different gameplay mechanics in it. I mean, in some sections, you're like a detective and sometimes it's like an action hack and slash and I'm standing by that. That Astral Chain remains one of the best exclusives on the Switch. I mean, as you can hear uh, when I'm describing it, I was really fond of that game. Still, I'm so fond of Astral Chain. Goes in S tier. Animal Crossing. I don't think I need to say a lot about Animal Crossing. It is a unique game that is mastering a genre unlike any other game and therefore makes it like almost one of a kind. You're living this life on this island and it is like a life on its own. Most people have already played it. Some people are even still playing it. I left it long ago but uh, my memories are very fond within Animal Crossing. New Horizons. That was uh, such a game and it would be a shame to not put that in the S tier. Uh, let's see, we are skipping a lot of these because I don't feel like I played them enough. Detective Pikachu. That is a D tier for me. I didn't like it at all. It was nothing like anything that I would like in a game. Detective game I would say for super small children. Fire Emblem Engage, the newest Fire Emblem game. Now, I'm not done with that game. I don't think I will ever be done. I feel like it is a good game. It's a mid game. Uh, some people loved it and adore it. I know that. But for me, I'm gonna hit, put it like in just in the middle, like B tier. Uh, it is uh, good enough, nothing too special. Fire Emblem Three Houses. I did enjoy Three Houses more than Engage. Not sure why exactly, but I feel like... Mm, I feel it would be fair to have it in A. Okay, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, which is a, another genre than the other Fire Emblems entirely. This is uh, Hack and Slash Muso, whatever. Uh, also the next one, Fire Emblem Warriors, the first one. I'm putting this one in B and the first Fire Emblem Warriors in A. I liked it that much, actually. Now this video is sponsored by me, I guess, and sort of gimmeswag.com. They are launching a campaign to release this plushie, an Isha Gaming plushie, guys. How adorable is this? I am loving it. I designed every single thing on this plushie. I designed that I wanted like a hoodie with a zipper. I decided on the sitting position, facial expression, the sunglasses, <laughs> statement sunglasses, the hairstyle, and I have like a yellow shirt under the hoodie. The campaign is lasting 30 days, guys. This is super limited and I would love to be a part of your game collection. Like you can have me on your gaming shelves. That would mean the world to me. You know, but we have to reach the threshold of the campaign for it to be launched and then, even then, it will be super limited edition. Now, that would mean so much to me that you get my plushie. I hope you can reach this goal. Thank you, Gimme Swag. I'm loving it. So surreal to have a plushie made of yourself. What life is this, you know? <clears throat> okay, next up. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. That goes straight into B. It was good enough. Now, Hyrule Warriors, the first one. I think that is a C tier game because I liked Age of Calamity more, basically. Now we have Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which is the best Kirby game in recent years for me. I, I was pleasantly surprised with how fun that was. I really enjoyed that. A good Kirby game, basically. Now Kirby, Star Allies and Deluxe. <sighs> 
Now, I don't really remember the difference between those two, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna skip them. Uh, overall, Kirby games are good enough. Now, Luigi's Mansion 3. I think it was so hard, but it looks really good. Oh, uh, I give it that. But for me, I think it was too difficult. <laughs> and I'm such a fan of the first Luigi's Mansion. So I'm putting that in C tier, I think. Yeah, that goes in C tier. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're skipping a lot of the sports titles because I've never been into sports titles like Mario whatever sport. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I don't think we will be needing that. <laughs> If you know what I mean. I want this video to be somewhat helpful with you discovering maybe some titles that you have overlooked. Miitopia, C tier. Paper Mario The Origami King, D tier. So bad. I was so disappointed though. I know Paper Mario 1000 Year Door is gonna be 10 hundred thousand times better <laughs> than Origami King. I was so disappointed with Origami King. That was terrible, guys. I know. Let's uh, tackle all of the Pokemon games, shall we? Now, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I think I put that in C tier. It's a remake of a DS game. It's okay. C tier doesn't mean, oh my god, it's bad. That's more, <laughs> more or less reserved for the D tier. That's, oh my god, it's bad. Uh, C is like, yeah, sure. B is like, this is good. A is like, <laughs> now we're talking and S is like, oh my god. Okay, so Scarlet and Violet, which are basically the same game. Let's see, I'm gonna put that in together with Brilliant Diamond, sort of. But I mean, like, these are not the best Pokemon games on the Switch. <laughs> now we are getting into some good ones. Pokemon Legends Arceus. I have restarted the game uh, now recently because I love it. I just love it. And I know people are saying the graphics are so bad, the performance is so bad, but you know what? I'm I've been playing a lot in my life games that look terrible, but I'm loving the gameplay and something happened and I am having a good time. It's not always about the graphics. Arceus is such a game, but I am feeling feelings and I'm enjoying myself so much in it. Therefore, I am putting it on my S tier as one of the best exclusive games on the Switch. Loving it that much, actually. Let's see, Sword and Shield. I did enjoy Shield more than Scarlet and Brilliant Diamond. Therefore, it goes in B tier. So, Pokemon Let's Go series. <laughs> it was a fun little thing, but it's too easy, too boring. There's no challenge. And I know I am an easy, easy gamer, whatever. But that was just too easy. Princess Peach Showtime, guys. I think I'm gonna slide that into the C tier, but I am so early into the game. Hold on. Nintendo did send over my little care package with the Princess Peach Showtime. So uh, it's too early to actually have a verdict on that. Some of the merch stuff. Oh yeah, like a little princess mug. Thank you, Vagsala. Also, a bag. I will be giving all of this to a nephew kid in the family. Uh, too early to say anything, but currently it's like uh, more for kids, I think. So therefore, in my book, it's a C-tier game. But it could actually be good, I don't know. Uh, maybe I will come back to that later. Okay, let's speed things up a tiny bit more now. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. That's my entire childhood, uh, like I've said before <laughs> on this channel. So nostalgia speaking, Galaxy is like objectively good also, and also Sunshine. <laughs> and also 64, I mean, they're good still, they're still holding up. But a lot of nostalgia is speaking when I'm putting that in S tier as one of my favorite like exclusive games on the Switch. Those games by themselves could be like a console selling game. So, I mean, nostalgia speaking. Super Mario Odyssey, what do you think? I think it's um, the best Super Mario 3D platforming game made. Without the nostalgia speaking, of course. I mean, if we're crossing out my nostalgia for the older Marios, Odyssey is actually the best 3D Mario game. Now, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is as good as it gets when it comes to 2D side-scrolling B tier. Super Mario RPG remake of a Super Nintendo game. Nostalgia speaking, of course, also, again, 
uh, but B tier I feel like it's somewhat short it really is okay now we're getting into something super interesting the Zelda games the console selling series often the reason why we got a switch to begin with like initially now let's start with one that's rather interesting i guess i could say Zelda skyward sword i think i, th I think it's that bad no like i liked it on the wii okay don't get me wrong i, I did kind of like it on the wii i tried to like it anyways um and I bought it again now on the Switch, thinking that this is the time, but it was not such a time. The controls are weird, the game is sort of limiting and confined, and uh, it's not a very good Zelda game. has its moments and some charming elements and places. Some places are interesting, some items are unique, um, but no, enjoyment-wise, no. Okay, so Zelda Link's Awakening, uh, sliding straight into A, uh, well deserved, such a good remake. Had a blast with that one, highly recommend that, that is a fun time. A lot of stuff to collect and do, and uh, looking so cute, having like a wonderful time in that one. Okay, let's get the big ones out of the way, shall we? Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, uh, sliding straight to S tier. Also, Breath of the Wild. These two games are very similar, as you may know. There's more building in the newest one, Tears of the Kingdom, but Breath of the Wild was just like the first baby. I'm finding it hard and I fi I'm finding it difficult to pick one of those if I'm gonna have to like choose which one of them I like the most. I did play Breath of the Wild way more than Tears of the Kingdom because I felt like Tears of the Kingdom kind of repeated a lot of things that I had. I felt like I had already done. They are very special though. This is where you get the bang for your buck. These are must-haves on the Switch, if anything. I mean, console selling games basically. Another big RPG series, Xenoblade Chronicles. Now I'm gonna start with Xenoblade Chronicles 1, I feel like that is an A tier, well deserved. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I feel like is a bit below the definitive edition of the first one. Uh, in my opinion, I guess, just to show you how much this one is good. Two is there, still good, okay. And uh, I was also pleasantly surprised by Xenoblade Chronicles 3, so that one goes in A tier. Okay, looking good so far. Okay, I feel like those were all of the exclusives super worth mentioning in this video. At least the ones that I have played a lot, the ones that I am familiar with. And uh, I think I'm happy with my list. So what do you think of my tier list? What's your favorite exclusive game on the Nintendo Switch? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Now hit like on this video and subscribe if you're new. Check out the link down below for the plushie. Super limited. Uh, I'm hoping we reach that threshold thing. I saw a lot of people don't reach that. I think it's gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.